Hey everyone, today I have a haul video for you. I'm sorry if you can hear the rain. It's a very windy, rainy day today. And um, I'm always filming in the attic and there's only single glass in the window. So you might hear the rain a bit. So I went shopping with my best friend Jens. We went to London together and I'm gonna show you what I got. So we went two days. Uh, the first day we mainly did like uh, Camden and then like we went to the Disney store, Lush and uh, went to go see what they had at Build-A-Bear. I did not get anything from Build-A-Bear but I was very tempted though. They had a super cute jack-o'-lantern bear. There was also a frog zombie, which was adorable. They also had a noogie boogie and a Mimikyu. But yeah, I have too many plushies, so I resisted. The first thing I'll show you is what I got from Cyberdog. I got two things from Cyberdog. I try to limit my spending because uh, it is expensive. So the first thing I got was this pair of shorts. There's some see-through strips and then it has some see-through Carter type thingy. Then the second thing I got from Cyberdog was this top. I personally think Cyberdog is not as good as it used to be. They used to have more unique designs than they do now. Um, also, it took them way too long to have somewhat bigger sizes. They nowadays have like a plus size section which only has some of their pieces. And yeah, I always hated that about them, but yeah, I still like them for other aspects. The next few things I'll show you I got from Collective. Um, most of their stuff are is most of their stuff is more like um, 50s style dresses and such, but they always have a few other pieces as well, which are more easily combined in other styles. And they always have some fun Halloween themed things. So the first thing I got was this adorable beret. How amazing is this embroidery? Look at the little ghosts. So cute. And the colors are perfect. It's the perfect green, the perfect purple. There's some orange stars. And then the pink. I absolutely love it. When putting on the beret, I actually saw that it is from a regular choice, but it was bought at the collective store. And then the second thing I got was this mesh crop top with long sleeves. And it has a crushed velvet print with bats and moons and some stars. And then there's this lovely bat shaped collar or bat wing shaped collar rather. I'm excited to pair this with some stuff.
Then we went to Sai Sai, which is an alternative shop um, that has a lot of different brands, but most importantly, they have a sales section in the basement. I always go straight to the sales section to see if there's anything I like. And I found this overskirt type thingy. It's just a fishnet type material attached to a belt. There's like a slit on this side. It's open in the front. And I think this will be a very versatile piece that can be paired with a lot of different things. The overskirt is from Punkrave and I only paid £15 for this. Then I also got some tights. Then the next thing I got was this lovely dress. It is also punk rave, but I did pay full price for this. It is also mesh with crushed velvet. Um, only the sleeves don't have any lining, so everything else is covered. It's surprisingly heavy. I think it's because uh, of the material under it, even though it's not super thick or anything. There's some stretch to it. It's really comfortable. The sleeves flare out just a tiny bit. Um, otherwise the shape of it is like a typical skater skirt dress. The print is very similar to the collective top I got, but the collective one um, is definitely more defined than this one, but it also has wounds and bats, but the bats aren't as like nicely shaped, in my opinion. That was everything I got from Sai Sai. I only got two things from Lush because I already have enough Lush, Lush stuff. We have Lush at, over here as well. Like not in my city, but close enough. Um, but what I did get was these socks. Yes, socks. The store we went to had a few merchandise things and I really like these. And then I also got the pumpkin crumble. Um, I'm not going to take it out of the bag, but I'll put a picture. Um, this is a bubble rune, I believe. But it smells so good. I will not attempt to describe the scent because I am terrible at that. Um, I'm sure you can find online. I also got a few pins. I'm pretty sure the stall that sold these were mostly like cheap bootleg pins, so they might be from some independent creators that I don't know um, but these were the few that I liked and really wanted anyway so this is the first one then we have this one and then my absolute favorite is this one. That was everything I bought on the first day. Um, we went to have 
some sushi um, we ate a lot then the next day we went more um, shopping for geeky stuff and such we went to Artbox and I only got a few things I got these cute little drawstring bags I think they're the perfect size to put some die sets in it but I might maybe use it for something else um, this is definitely my favorite one we also went to Orcs Nest because Jens was looking for a specific board game I did buy some things from there I don't have them with me because they were a present for my partner I got him the physical book for the Pathfinder campaign we are playing and a, um, a figure to use then we also went to Forbidden Planet which is a very large geek store or pop culture store or whatever you want to call it and everything I got there is Star Trek themed <laughs> so the first thing I got was a small Borg cube and I'm planning on putting it on my dashboard in the car I think that'll be fun I'll open it up there's also like a small book in it and it actually has pictures and everything if I can um, it's also supposed to light up and maybe make noise I'm not sure um, there were batteries in it but they had gone bad so I ordered some batteries and I'm hoping it will work when I get them so this is what it looks like pork Then I also got this pin It is the Voyager one Cause, um, I'm currently on the last season of Star Trek Voyager and I absolutely love it and I will be sad when it's over but I have plenty more Star Trek series to watch that I have not seen yet. I also have a Vulcan travel guide. I think this is a super clever fun way to give information and background on something from a series without it being too serious, serious but also having lots of information about it and backstory and um, I think this will be easier to read for me than if it would be just a full-on informative book 
so I am excited about this. And then the absolute last thing I have to show you today is this mug. It's a pumpkin. It's a Starbucks one. Um, we also had these over here in Belgium, but they always sell out quite fast and I didn't want to get it at first. Um, but I do li really love it and they had loads still in London and I was sad that I did not get a Squishmallow in my Happy Meal. But now I have this one, which is also nice. So yeah, that was everything for now. And uh, we'll see you hopefully in the next video. Bye!